Yo guys, it's your homie Pan. I'd like to welcome you all to a gaming news video, and today we're going to be talking about Nintendo. As you guys know it, Nintendo, we just got information in on that they're going to be banning online features for pirated games. So if you guys don't know, Nintendo has been targeted for a lot of piracy violation due to them using NVIDIA Tegra hardware on their carts, which I guess means their carts are easy to hack and people are able to upload ROMs from these games online to be able to use them on emulators. What Nintendo is planning to do in is banning these carts from online activity, using a security system that keeps track of unique identification keys attached to individual games that Nintendo has released on the Switch. Now what does that mean for you guys? It means that you guys are pretty much for used games. It means that any carts used in hacking attempts, these people can sell these games to any store that buys used or you know that buys games off of you and sells them used. And subject to other people who don't know whether or not the card is banned or not to no online play. This is very devastating to the used game market for Nintendo consumers. This is gonna piss off a lot of people and it should. It pissed me off. I have a switch too. So to clarify on this point though, this is only based off a of rumor, and a, but a pretty reliable one based off a, a Twitter post. I will go ahead and link this story down in the description for all you guys to read for a better understanding of the situation. Um, also, new games will not be subject to a ban because they're being, you know, because they're brand new. But uh, for you guys who usually buy used games, it kind of sucks because... You know, you guys are asked out and you guys are forced to buy a new game now uh, because, you know, especially with Super Smash Brothers coming out and, you know, all these other online capable games, you guys are going to be pretty screwed. You guys are going to have to buy those games new. And yo, guys, next up, we have Anthem. We have Anthem with 135 questions asked to the developers by IGN. I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm just going to cover the key points that I found interesting, but I will link the whole 135 questions and answers in the description down below so look forward to that guys other than that we have number three you will not leave fort tharsis without being inside a javelin someone's gonna figure that out in the beginning it's probably gonna be some sort of glitch that some people can do just to get out there while they're not in their mech suit that's what a javelin is guys uh your character will have a backstory that bio will share more info on later there's also character customization so that's pretty cool that you can char characterize your character and they'll have a backstory Romances could not be implemented into the game, but they will be implemented in future updates, maybe. So if you guys are, you know, really into games that have a romance story, this is not the game for you. It's not going to have any romance in it in the beginning. Uh, however, uh, all players also will be able to share the same cutscene at the same length. So if you and your buddy enter a cutscene, you guys are going to finish it at the same exact time. It's not going to be like Destiny to where, you know, your homie can just start killing shit without you and you're still stuck in a cutscene that you never watched um also story missions can be played one to four people and meaning that you can play anthem alone so if you guys don't have any friends or you guys just don't like people or you guys are just you know introverts introverts eh, um you'll be able to play by yourself so don't worry guys it's all good and story mode though uh and free play but there are dungeons in the game that are called strongholds and these strongholds will require four people to uh, get through them and they're non soloable which i think what they mean by that by non soloable is you won't be able to enter them by yourself that's the only way i can see that happening if you're able to enter them by yourself i'm pretty sure there's going to be some crazy motherfucker out there that's going to be uploading a youtube video pretty soon when this game drops and says soloed first stronghold what's up gg god mode you know anyway there will be no pvp at launch so all you PvP players out there, if you guys are getting this for PvP strictly, uh, that's not going to be introduced in the beginning. So uh, don't look forward to that. But hey, it's going to be added later, I'm pretty sure. There's really no more information on that. But let's hope. Uh, Anthem requires an online connection to play due to support of dedicated servers. So there's no blaming your homie for having shitty internet. So now it's, you know, because it's dedicated servers. So now you can just blame Anthem if the servers are acting crappy or you're lagging. Uh, there is also a chance Bioware could raise the player limit in free play mode at some point in the future. So as we know right now, the game can be played one to four players. So if you guys have that extra friend that wants to play with you, but you can't seem to get him in because you already got a party of four. Well, if they do increase that limit, you'll be able to play with that other homie. Also, if you guys run into dickhead players on your team, because there will be matchmaking in the game. Uh, people won't be able to block other teammates from being revived. So you just walk right through them, revive the player, and you're Gucci. Also, uh, regards to loot rarity, there will be five to six rarity levels. The drop rates 
are still being planned or being balanced so but that means that monsters in the game will be able to drop loot which is pretty awesome i like a game that's able you know to drop loot from monsters just just can't get any better than that uh there is no paying for power in anthem there's no pay to win so everything every single dlc is all cosmetic guys so you guys don't have to worry about people you know buying something and then them seeing overpowered but there is still you know that cost that costume type you know stigma that happens with like fighting games you know like you just reference a fighting game like uh say street fighter you know you have a ryu costume specifically and you just play better because you have a costume on i think you know people are going to be bitching about that but hey you know everybody bitches for some reason <laughs> And also, guys, we also have number 48. The game will be in first-person perspective in Fort Tharsis, in Strider Bases, and third-person perspective out in the world in your javelin suit. So, which means is if, to reference Destiny, you guys know how in Destiny, uh, while well, you guys are in the game hub, or the tower, or whatever the hell it's called, it's been a while since I played it, um, you're in third person, well, and then when you guys go into the actual game and you guys shoot shit, you're in first person, well, in this game, it'll be backwards, while you're in the hub, you'll be in first person, and when you're outside in the outside world shooting shit up, you guys are going to be in third person perspective pretty cool i like it so if you guys don't like third person perspective when you guys are you know actually playing the game it's probably not going to be the game for you but they may go ahead and add first person in the future i'm not sure don't quote me on that take that with a grain of salt also there will be wear weapons or equipment that will drop from specific encounters specific monsters specific bosses so you guys can farm bosses until they drop the perspective weapon for you guys which is pretty solid because i like farming for you know some some super duper loot uh, also gear drops are based on your pilot level there will be levels in this game and depending on your level will depend on the rarity or maybe not the rarity but the power of that item you get which could be a new armor for your javelin which is your mech suit or a new weapon uh, there will also be four javelins available at launch the ranger colossus storm and interceptor uh, but what you guys got to understand is when you guys are going through the story mode because they can unlock uh, being you know going through the story mode you don't have to do it in a specific order that the game is kind of sort of telling you to so if you guys are really wanting the colossus but the rangers next up on your mission list you can literally go to the mission where you unlock the colossus armor and get that first so it's you don't have to unlock them in any particular order which is pretty freaking sweet uh javelin upgrades will mostly come from drops in the world if you are in the same place in the story, you'll get full credit for joining a friend's instance and finish the mission. Also, guys, there is mentorship in this game. So if you guys beat the whole story or just beat a mission and you guys go back and help a friend, you guys will get a special reward for helping your homie, which is pretty dope because that just emphasizes on helping people in this game and you'll be rewarded for something new and not just get the same stuff so like you know you can't so now if someone asks you for help you can't be like well i already did it and i'm not going to get anything well nah you are it's going to be something different every time special reward pretty sweet anthem will not may not be on 30 frames per second on consoles uh definitely it will not uh be 30 frames per second on the xbox one and the ps4 pro or xbox one x It'll be at 60 FPS. They're pretty sure it's going to be. Um, but I'm pretty sure, in my opinion, not theirs, because they say may not be at 30 FPS. For the regular Xbox and the regular PS4, I'm pretty positive it's going to be locked at 30 FPS. But what can you do? And also, for all you booby fans, there's not going to be a slider to adjust the cleavage. It's just not going to happen. What you get is what you're stuck with. Yo guys, we are sponsored by MacTechStore.com where you can get your Gucci gaming accessories such as console skins, apparel, decor to make your living room look dope or your room, gaming audio cables, video game memorabilia. They have a bunch of statues and gear that is gaming and anime based such as Dragon Ball Z, Dark Souls, Rick and Morty, and etc. At a very, very good price. So check out MacTechStore.com which will be provided in the link in the description down below. And yo guys, if you guys want to follow me on my Patreon, I will include that link in the description down below as well and if you guys want to hit that like button that bell notification button and subscribe for more gaming news Terra news Skyforge news or any other news guys I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys liked it and your homie Zeno Payne out peace